Hello everyone. I hope you all are healthy, safe and enjoying your family time. Also watching these videos and having fun with science. So last time we saw some of the volume measuring instruments and the actual concept of what volume is. So a quick revision. So volume is nothing but the space occupied by any object. May it be liquids, solids or gases. We also saw the example of 1 kg steel ball and comparison with 1 kg of cotton or feathers. So the mass of the two is exactly the same but their volumes may not be same and this is due to the difference in their densities. So what this density actually is? How can we measure the density of any object? It is a bit tough to measure it directly and accurately uh, because as we know that it is uh, not just density, it depends upon two properties of that object that is the mass of the object and the volume of the object. But if we know these two quantities that is mass and volume of the object we can find the density by dividing the mass of that object by the volume of that object. So to accurately uh, find this mass and volume there is one more instrument called the density bottle. It is uh, only useful for liquids but I will tell you what it is. It is just a bottle kind of thing, uh, a glass bottle and we know how much volume capacity of that bottle is. We also know the mass of the empty bottle. Now what is done is that this bottle is filled completely till it overflows with some liquid and then the dropper is put on. Now the mass of this filled bottle is again measured. So subtracting these two quantities, we get the mass of the liquid which is inside that bottle and the volume we already know. So again mass upon volume gives the density of that liquid. So what actually this density is? So this is a quantity which can tell you the degree of compactness of any substance. Uh, so to make it more simple, uh, it can tell you how much closely the molecules inside that substance are bound uh, or how much far apart they are. So as the word suggests, densely, density, it is how much densely the molecules are packed or if they are rarely packed, then it is, it is called the, it is, um, it is more, more or less dense. I hope you are understanding what I am trying to say here. So from this, we can know that the density is the property of that substance itself. It is called the intrinsic property of that substance. It does not change with what amount of substance we are measuring. Uh, for example, take silver. So if you take one ton of silver and if you take some particles of silver, the density is going to remain the same. It is not going to change. So sometimes this density is also considered to be the fingerprint of that substance. Uh, that is the pure form of any element or any substance will give you the same density. And something else is mixed with it. The density of that substance or that element will add up and the density will change. Now you know that it is not pure. So the density acts like the fingerprint of that element or substance. So I remember one story uh, of Archimedes. It is a very interesting so story. We have also heard about Archimedes in the uh, previous video series. Uh, and we have also done an experiment on it. If you have not uh, seen it, please do check out the link. I will give it in the description below. Okay, so coming back to the story now, uh, he experimented and he could firmly tell that the crown of the king was not made of pure gold. So he calculated the density of that crown and he knew the density of pure gold. So he could tell that the crown was not made of pure gold. Interesting, right? 
So density comes into play with fluids and flotation. So it is a very interesting fact that a denser object sinks into a less dense fluid and it floats if the density of the fluid is more than that of the object. Okay, we'll do a simple activity to understand this better. So take an egg and uh, now put it into a uh, glass full of water. Gentle, normal tap water. What do you think? It will float or sink? Yes, you will see that it sinks in normal fresh water. Now the activity is start putting some salt in that water. Now you will observe that the egg starts floating on water. Isn't it fun? Why is it happening? Do, did we change the egg? No. So we have not changed the mass of the egg or the weight of the egg. It remains the same. What we have changed by putting what, uh, salt inside the water is the density of water. Now the density of water has increased and so the egg started floating on it. Interesting, right? Do try it at home. So now you would have understood why objects sink or float. So here you can see different liquids and different objects floating or sinking. They are making some layers uh, depending on their densities. You can also try this at home. Take some water, oil and put it in one um, glass. You can also try, uh, take honey and see. And see where the liquid stands or how they make different layers. It is due to the difference in their densities. So this is one method to calculate density by knowing the mass and volume. But there are some instruments that calculate density directly. One of them is the hydrometer. So this instrument floats or in the liquid as per its density. So this is uh, the analog version uh, and this is the, yes, this is the digital one. So uh, different hydrometers have different mark scales to measure various densities of liquid. There is one more instrument uh, called the density meter. Uh, the density meter can measure the density of both liquids and gases uh, and it is very highly used in different uh, fields uh, like petroleum, chemical industries, food, beverage industries where quality control is, the, is a very important factor. It is also used in research and development. So there are many types of these density sensors as you have seen now. Uh, and it basically works on buoyancy principle. Uh, it also has a float as the uh, hydrometer uh, which moves linearly in the liquid or the substance. And then um, the uh, position of this float is uh, sensed by a proximity sensor and then the density is found. There is one more very very high tech density meter. It is called the radiation density meter. So uh, the inside the brief, brief the radiation density meter looks something like this. As the name suggests there is a radiation source, a very secure radiation source and a very secure path for these radiations to move or to travel uh, from the object of which we uh, want to know the density. And there is again a detector on the other side which detects the radiations coming from the source after they pass from the object of the liquid the, of which we want to know the density. So this is a very very high tech density meter and that's all about density meters. Uh, now do uh, the activities that I have suggested of the eggs and the water with pinch of salt and uh, the oil and the water separation activity and let me know if you find them fun. Do not mess things around in your house, try to take your mother's help and let me know if you enjoy them, if you learn something new from them. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like, please like, share and subscribe and let's meet uh, with another instrument in the next video. Bye.